welcome, I do. It's a uh, yeah. Hey, you know, uh, you know what we do over there on my Discord channel is uh, every month we have a uh, concept art challenge. That's right. Anybody can join this. And uh, the last few months we've been designing Zelda shrines. We got Darksiders blacksmiths. We got Warcraft weapons, cyberpunk vending machines. It's really like going off, man. And it's a great opportunity for any artist of any skill to begin to design some things for concept art for video games. It's not a competition. There's no money. There's no prizes. Uh, what you get, what you get, check this out. What you get is you get featured in a video slideshow uh, on my channel here, uh, just like what you're about to watch. Uh, this last month, in the month of April, uh, we designed Warcraft bosses. And so the entire community, they come together, they help each other out, they give feedback to each other, they pose information and challenges to each other. And that could be you. You could be helping out another artist or be getting help from another artist if you were to join the Discord, which you can do right now in the link below. So without any further delay, let's jump into the slideshow. This is, uh, these are bosses that you might find in the world of Warcraft. And some people went nuts, man. Some people went so far as to even write up some like a, a combat abilities, like how you might engage in combat with these bosses. All right, so let's uh, let's check it out. This is the community showcase.
dude, what the heck is Twilight Monk? Which is the first book to buy? I get this question a lot. So I wanted to clarify, if you don't know already, yes, I've worked on many successful video games, but now I'm making illustrated novels and art books. And uh, the order that you should pick them up in if you're interested in the world of Twilight Monk is to start with the book called The World of Twilight Monk. This is an illustrated art book, but it features a lot of backstory on characters and locations and populations and the different cities and what they do with those cities. And this is the, the groundwork for all these adventures that I'm about to tell in the illustrated novels. Now, which illustrated novel should you start with if you want to pick up the Twilight Monk series and start reading about these characters? I highly recommend you start with The Secrets of Kung Fulio. The Secrets of Kung Fulio has 70 illustrations by myself and Danny Kong. It's a 50,000 word book that was written by myself and Chris Krubick. It has a lot of kung fu fantasy adventure action. It is the story of a reluctant teenage hero who has to overcome this bully who's trying to kick him out of town, basically. But he kind of totally stinks at kung fu, so he's gonna need to build some alliances and he's gonna need a shortcut to ultra secret kung fu Leo mastery. It's got comedy, it's got action, it's got, uh, it's a buddy story too, so lots of heart. Ah, oh, just read the reviews, man. People are loving this book. And yes, the illustrated novel series is a series, in fact. So uh, you can look forward to The Return of the Ancients, which is coming out in illustrated form later this year. You can pick up The World of Twilight Monk and Secrets of Kung Fulio, as well as many of the other comic books and illustrated novels that I've written and drawn over at AquaticMoon.com. All orders are delivered and fulfilled by Amazon, so you can read reviews and get that prime shipping, baby. I can't wait to share these Kung Fu adventure stories with you, and I hope you'll come along for the ride. I'd love to read your reviews as well. So dudes, that's it for me on this one. I'll catch you in the next video. A ciao.